Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know what's happening. The songs I'm playing are not playing. So I gotta select another one. I don't want that one that played. <laughs> okay, God bless us. I say tune in, go ahead and share. I'm just trying to get some songs here. Let us pray play the reckless love of God the reckless love of God the reckless love of God How are you guys doing? Happy Monday to everyone. I'm just waiting for more people to come in and then we can start. God bless you. 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 Happy Monday to everybody. I hope everyone is fasting. How many people are doing the Monday fasting? How many people are doing the Monday fasting? How many people are doing the Monday fasting? Blessings, 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 blessings. Blessings, blessings. Let me know your location, where you're watching from. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead and share. Host a watch party. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Bless Monday. Bless Monday to you all in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Go ahead and share. I'm just waiting for people to come in. You need to start really quick. We need to be quick today. God bless you, God bless you. Let me know your locations where you're watching me from. If there is somebody that needs to be on the broadcast and the person is not here, just go ahead and write the name of the person on the comment section and the person is going to come. Just write their names on the comment section. 
please share as much as you can host a watch party invite people to come in just share 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 i encourage you to share engage the broadcast so that we don't get cut off keep engaging the broadcast so we don't we don't um, freeze off <laughs> ah, sometimes i don't really get the right words to use okay so if you're not doing the monday fasting if you have never done the monday fasting you need to keep up with the monday fasting on this platform we fast every monday and it's just six hours it is for you so that you can commit the week into god's hand you can commit your week into god's hand for those of you that are still using your profile picture of father law release my job please change it to father law release my marriage always keep up with the things of god don't be behind the things of god be on top in as much as you see me change change your own don't be outdated because some of you because some of you you will be you will people can see the profile and then they feel that we are confused here we are not confused so don't let people get confused because of you when we are done with father law release my job change it to father law release my marriage or you use the logo if you know that you're the type that cannot just use the logo so god bless us god bless us god bless us anytime i don't do anytime i don't do makeup you guys always say i look good i don't know if that is so that i can stop makeup i just put lipstick Okay, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Karen is watching from Denmark. Let me see, let me see, let me see where you're watching from. Write your name, comment where you're watching from. Watching shortly from Denmark. God bless you, Karen. God bless you, Karen. Please share for the people in Denmark. God bless you, Karen. Share for the people in Denmark. Share for the people in Denmark. God bless you for listening to instruction. God bless you. I said, go ahead and tell me your location where you're watching from. After you have said your location where you're watching from, you share the broadcast. After you have shared the broadcast, then you, you write, Father Lord, release my marriage. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Josephine. Josephine is watching from Germany. God bless you. 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 Blessings, 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 blessings. Please go ahead and share. 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 I want you to just share the broadcast to people. I want you to share. I want you to host a watch party. I want you to share to your friends. Make sure that you're hosting watch party in groups. Go ahead and share. Praise the Lord with your share today. Praise the Lord with your share today. Uche is watching from Germany. So many people watching from Germany. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. I am really blessed. It's a blessed Monday. 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 I'm just waiting for people to tune in. I'm just waiting for people to tune in. I'm just waiting for people to tune in to Father Law release my marriage. I'm waiting for people to tune into this program of Father Law Release My Marriage. I'm waiting for more people to tune in. So if you have not shared, go ahead and share. Post a watch party so that people can come in. God bless you. For those that are sharing, may the Lord share in your problem. As to share, may the Lord release your marriage. Whatever it is that you came to the atmosphere with, may the Lord release it unto you. May the Lord release it unto you. May the Lord release it unto you. Go ahead and share. Invite somebody. Don't just come in and tell the Lord to bless your marriage alone. Write the people's name the way it is on Facebook. Write people's name the way it is on Facebook and they are going to join us here. 
Oh, I hear them write people's name on the comment section. Write it on the comment section. For those of you that have not sent in your prayer request for the mountain, you still have time. But do not forget to send in your request so that the Lord will grant it. And after we have prayed at the mountain, we're going to be burning all of the requests. By the time we burn it, it's going to go up to God. So go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you for tuning in. I release blessings unto you. And bless your week. Bless the work of your hand. Everything that you do, may you find favor in the sight of men and in the sight of God. May you please the Lord to release someone's marriage. May you please the Lord to circulate marriages in the atmosphere. May you please the Lord to grant the desires of your heart. For those of you that are engaged but you do not have money to fulfill the journey that you have started, may the Lord provide for you so that you can seal it up. For those of you that are confused in your life joining, you don't know which category you belong. Some of you have never been proposed to. Some of you do not even know what is happening. Please do not be confused in this place. Whatever you are believing the Lord for, let it be within you. This program, so, I just want you guys to keep sharing for other people to tune in. I'm just waiting for more people to tune in. I'm waiting for more people to tune in. So go ahead and share if you haven't shared. If you haven't shared, go ahead and share. If you have not shared, go ahead and share. God bless you. It's going to be a blessed week. It's going to be a week of testimony. It's going to be a week of breakthrough. It's going to be a week of signs and wonders. It's going to be a week of miraculous job. It's going to be a week of proposals. It's going to be a week of divine proposals. It's going to be a week of divine proposals. It is going to be your week of remembrance. It is going to be your week of turn around. It's going to be your week of reaping. It's going to be your week that the Lord will bring restoration. It is going to be your week of breakthrough. It is going to be your week of signs and wonders. It's going to be your week. Coming after me. No shadow you won't pull down, mountains you won't kick down, coming after me. You won't light up, mountains you won't guide up, coming after me. What a reckless love of God. Coming after me. No shadow you won't. Mountains, you won't climb up, coming after me. I'm just waiting for you guys to share. That's what I'm waiting for. Because we have changed the time, right? People don't know. We are supposed to be having this broadcast by 10 a.m. Canada time. But right now, it's just quarter to, quarter to seven. So you can see the, the, the change in time. So a lot of people are not away. A lot of people have not woken. A lot of people are doing something. So please, share the broadcast. Post a watch party. So that people will not miss the program because of the change of time. So share. Post watch parties. So that the groups where they belong. And if you know somebody that is supposed to be here and the person is not here, just go ahead and write the person's name. Go ahead and write the person's name and they are going to come. I don't deserve it. I couldn't end it. Yet you gave yourself away. Overwhelming, never-wending, reckless love of God. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. The more I stay shade, the more you guys are not sharing. What's happening? Are you blocked or your network is not good? Are you blocked or your network is not good? 
Okay, I'm just gonna tag the video and we gotta start. If you know that there is somebody that is supposed to be here, you have friends on Facebook. I don't know why you guys don't listen to instruction. Sometimes I am wondering. Sometimes I am wondering. Is it that you guys don't hear me? Or you're not getting me? You guys don't hear me? Is my network bad? Can you guys hear me? Because I'm saying something and I'm not saying respond. I said, go ahead and write your friend's names the way it is on Facebook. And the Lord is going to bring them. Write your friend's names on the comment section. I want to see everybody writing down their friend's name on the comment section. I am watching. God bless you, Joycelyn. God bless you, Karen. Okay. So, okay. All right. Because sometimes the network is really bad. So some people cannot get to you. God bless you. Who answered me? Peter. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. 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 I love you guys so very much and I welcome you to this broadcast in the name of God. No, no, no. Karen, if you write Slaven, they will not come. You need to write it the way it is on Facebook. Facebook does not give one name. Facebook does not allow one name. So it is either people are bearing two names or people are bearing three names. So the way my name appears on Facebook is Kate Favor, Evan Chapel. So if you want the broadcast to come to me, you're going to type Kate Favor, Heaven Chapel. If you type Kate, it will not come. You must put it the way it appears on Facebook. You must put it the way it appears on Facebook. So let's assume these are the people that I want to invite right now to come and watch the video. I'm going to type the name the way it is. You see? So that's what you do. If you type one name, they will not come. You need to type two names three names the way it appears on facebook and you will see all of them will come because they will get it immediately god bless us god bless us god bless us god bless us okay we are gonna be starting real quick i was just gonna take a moment to tag the video because i haven't tagged the video i will tag the video and then we start today is just gonna be on people 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 okay um Today is a day five, if you're just wondering. We have two more days for this program to be over. So if you're not receiving, you are on your own. If you're not receiving in this program, you are on your own. Because the point for us coming here is for the Lord to release our marriages. So today is the day five of Father Lord released my marriage. I think the video is stuck right now. Today is the day five of Father Lord released my marriage. And I want to believe the God who called upon you and hide to come that the Lord will release your marriages. I want to believe the God that called upon you to come, that he will release your marriages. Okay, so please, for the people that are still using Father Law, release my job. Change it to Father Law, release my marriage. Because people are already saying, ah, I'm, I'm getting notification that, excuse me. Because some people... Some people are still thinking that we are doing Father Law release my job. We are done with Father Law release my job. And we are doing Father Law release my marriage. And it's left with two days for Father Law release my marriage to be over. Father Law release my marriage. Father Law restore my marriage. Father Law perfect my marriage. Father Law bring my marriage. Father Law release money for my marriage. Whatever you're believing the law for in marriage is this week. Whatever you're believing the Lord for in your matrimonial home was for this week. Whatever blessing you want to see in your matrimonial home was this week. And today is the day five. It has left with two days. This program of Father Lord release my marriage will be over. And the next program is going to be running for another seven days. Remember, it was a one, it was a 21 days vision from the Lord. 
Father, Lord, release my job. Father, Lord, release my marriage. Father, Lord, release my documents, my visa. Whatever you're believing the law for, my citizenship. Whatever concerning documents, papers. Forever, contracts. So it is going to be another seven days. So God bless you. For the first time, as if today is your first time of coming into this place, you're very welcome in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want you to know that you are not here by accident. I want you to know that God has destined today that you are going to be here. This commission where we are gathering right now is called Evan Chapel. And in Evan Chapel, usually we thank God for this vision and what the Lord has done through this um, mantle that he gave to me. The Lord has been so good. Please, for those of you that have not shared the broadcast to my timeline, can somebody share the broadcast to my timeline? Can somebody share to Evan Chapel? Can somebody share to the next level? Please, for those of you that have added you to groups, make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. I gave time for people to share the broadcast because I don't want when I start the broadcast, then I'm interrupted by sharing. Because if you don't share, I have to share. When you don't share the broadcast, I have to share the broadcast myself. So I will stop and I will share. So please, if you want me to concentrate, you just share the broadcast whilst I concentrate on the message for the day. Otherwise, if I'm to do um, the broadcast and I'm sharing, then I have to pause in between to do that, right? Because I'm, I have to do it. The main purpose that we gather is for the word to reach people. So if the word is not reaching people, then we are not doing what we're supposed to do. Please host a watch party. I always like the video to be shared on my timeline because a lot of people follow my timeline, right? To check things and information. So when they see it on my timeline, they will, they will, they will come in. Please don't send to my inbox. Timeline means Kate's favor, Evan Chapel. My timeline, not my inbox. Don't send me video in the inbox. Okay, God bless us. Think I got what I wanted. So for, for those people who are coming in for the first time, you are at Evan Chapel Foundation International. And usually we have our broadcast every day. It said the Lord will do otherwise. Okay. Okay, I think I need to approve. <laughs> Uh, so Evan Chapel International, I think they said the videos are pending and um, pending post. Okay. So God bless you and God bless me. God bless all of us. Every labor that you have done for the Lord is not in vain. For the person that is hosting the watch party, may the Lord bless you. Okay. I just saw the videos now and I have approved. Thank you so much. God bless you. It is an honor for us to be here. Please don't send again to Evan Chapel. Send to other groups. We have so much already in Evan Chapel. We don't need more. There are so many already. Just share to other groups. And God bless you as you do so. Um, Father Lord, release my marriage. Father Lord, release my marriage. Tell the Lord. To release your marriage. Tell the Lord to restore your marriage. Tell the Lord to perfect your marriage. Tell the Lord to bless your marriage. For people that are believing God for marriage blessing. Marriage restoration. Marriage breakthrough. Marriage proposals. Marriage open doors. It will be done. It will be done. By the time we are done with this program. Every of your desires that you brought to the Lord shall be approved every of your heart desires that you brought into this place and say i am having struggles in my marriage i'm believing the lord for my marriage restoration i am believing god to put my marriage in order the lord is going to do it for you for as many that have trusted for as many that believe the lord is going to do to you even more than you can ever imagine I hear the Lord says, I am going to restore marriages. It was because of marriage 
That was why God made Eve for Adams. Because he said it is not good that man should be alone. He said we should go and multiply. He said we should go and we should multiply. He said we should go and we should multiply. This is what he said. So you alone cannot multiply. I alone cannot multiply. It is when we have gotten together in marriage, that is when we multiply. My prayer today is that God will give money to those who do not have money so that they can be maritally settled. Because it is not God's wish or God's desire for anyone to live in fornication, for anybody to live in the way that the Lord does not permit. It is not God's desire. Please don't request to be in the video. Just go ahead and share the broadcast and the Lord will direct me accordingly for me to bring you. So don't request yourself. Hello, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you too. Wow, you're so beautiful. Thank you so much. You same, same to you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> okay. Your name and where you're watching from. My name is Karen Banger Peterson. I'm from Denmark. I'm born in Greenland. Okay. So I'm just looking at you. I don't know what problem. I see you and I see children, but I don't see no man. That's true. But I see children, but I don't see no man. That's true. I live alone in 15 years with my two kids. Where is the father of the two kids? He's in Greenland. He live alone in Greenland. What happened? Divorce. And every time you keep believing the Lord for a breakthrough, Every time you keep believing the Lord, you keep telling the Lord, Father, I just need a breakthrough. I just need an increase in my finances. I just want you to enlarge me. I just want you to change my situation, my story. I want you to do something special. I want you to, I want you to, to, to make my life better than where I am. Every time That's you keep true. telling the Lord, I need a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough. That's I true. need a breakthrough. That's true. That's where so are much true. Children? My son is in the, uh, from the school. They're working in the uh, training. He's in job. He have a, a study job. He's 20. And my daughter is flying to Italy today from the school. She, ha she is in high school. Okay, I'm going to be praying for them. I'm going to pray Amen. for open doors for them. Because I Amen. have also seen struggles for them in the realm of the spirit. That's I true. also see them struggling. And That's I don't true. want the story that repeated in your life to repeat in the life of your children. So Amen. I'm going to be praying for them. And I'm going to pray for you. I see a big breakthrough coming for you. Amen. I receive. I see, I see, I see a breakthrough coming for you. I see you celebrating. I see you so happy. I see you making phone calls and you are telling people about a huge success, something that happened and you are super excited. You're just calling people and you are sharing it. I see a breakthrough coming for you. I see you sharing it to people. How you make a phone call and you say to somebody, hey, you, you know what, this, this just happened. That is what I see for you. I but I'm going to pray for your children because I see a lot of struggles in their life. Too much. A lot too, of struggles. Too much accident, too much pain, too much operation, no working. I'm a nurse. I'm a therapist. I don't work because too much pain in my body. Financial is catastrophic. I, I can't pay, pay, pay my bills. It is going to go. Amen. It is going to go. I am going to pray Amen. for you. And I'm going to bless water for you. And I'm telling Amen. you before the end of this service, before I leave the line, before I finish Amen. the broadcast, you're going to be ill instantly. Do you believe Amen. me? Amen. I believe you. I am going to bless water for you right now. But okay. I am telling you that the Lord is going to heal you instantly. 
So you pay Amen. attention to what you feel in your body right now. And when yes. you drink the water that I am going to bless for you, before Amen. I finish the broadcast, you will be ill instantly. Amen. I Amen. I'm not saying Thank tomorrow. You. I said today. Amen. As I pray <clears throat> for you, before I finish the broadcast, you will write, I feel good <clears throat> in my body. There is no more pain. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I see the Lord taking pain away from you. I see Amen. the Lord healing you. you right now, right here. Amen. Amen. Ah, Amen. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. We need to cancel these struggles in the life of your children. It's still coming Amen. back. Amen. I see a lot of struggles in their life. That's true. Too if much you can pain. just get a pen. Write a the pen. names of your children, the two of them. Don't write it on the same paper, different paper. Tear paper yes, into two. Write their names for me. I will. Right now. I write it down. Do you have a Bible with you? Bring water as well. Cup of water, glass of water, anyone you have, just bring. My God. Who is the eldest among your children, the boy or the girl? A boy, Christian. Okay. So you're going to use Christian first? Yes. You're going to pick... No, drop the water. Just keep the water. When I want it, I'll call, I'll call for it. Keep it. So we are going to do for Christian first. You're going to put the Bible on your chest. With Christian's name. The Father Lord, Speak about the life of Christian. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Bless my son. Protect my son. Let him know you better, better every day. Thank you, Father. You give me that gift. And for all of us, thank you, Jesus. My son and his future wife and future kids and grandkids, every, every family line, protect them. Bless them, deliver them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank okay, you. so you're going to do this. See, I am carrying the Bible. There should be nothing in your Bible. Mm -hmm. When you open, you're going to hold the Bible like this. When you open it, you hold on to where your hands are. Please don't miss it. Good. Where your hands are touching, read it for me, your right and your left, both sides. Both sides. The, fir uh, the first I see is Psalm 44. In, 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 in Danish. Psalm 44 versus what? For, uh, versus uh, 40, um, 40, 17, and 44. Psalm 40 and 70. Psalm 40, 17. 14. One, four. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Oh, my God, do not delay, my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you hear me when I said that there is a struggle <laughs> in the life of your 
your son. Hallelujah. I've got good goosebumps. You got goosebumps. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Somebody celebrate grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, some people, they just feel like, you know, you know, honestly, sometimes, eh, Sometimes when I look at the way God uses me in the prophetic, I'm so humble. It is not easy when you speak from yourself, you can never see it happen. But when the mm. Lord speaks, when you open Amen. the scripture, it confirms what he's saying. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. As for and me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do <laughs> not delay. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, it Thank is not going to happen tomorrow. It is going to happen right here. That is what I told you. I said, before Thank the you. end of this service. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maybe you thought I was joking. Maybe you thought I was no. the one speaking. <laughs> Do you know Hallelujah. me before? No. Have no. you spoken to me before? No. So how no. do I know your problem? Lord, how Lord did I Jesus. How see that your husband is not with you? Lord how Jesus. How did I see the life of your children? How Amen. did I see the struggle in your life? How did I Lord, see that you got nothing and you're praying for a breakthrough? How did I know? Lord Jesus. Jesus, use you mightily. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> I said it is going to happen right here, not tomorrow. Before Amen. the end of this service, you are going to type. You are going to say, my God, I feel ill in my body. There is no single pain. Everything is restoring. Amen. I am not telling Amen. you what I want you to hear, but I'm telling you what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. My God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you opened the scripture and you said it is not in English. I said, I'm going to read it for you in English. So you <laughs> go ahead and read it in your own language. Yes, that's so much powerful. So powerful. And the, and the, other, and the other finger, you said the both of your fingers... Okay, yeah, the, the other, other side. Let's finish it. You're a daddy. Other, I love you. <laughs> the other side is 44. Still. Okay. 44 and what? 2. Uh, uh, 2. 44 and 2. two. Three. It says. 2 and 3. 2, 2. 2 and 3. Oh, 23. No, 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 no. Just two and okay, after your hand that, is in two and three verses yes. two and three. Yes. Okay, so chapter forty-four verses two and three, right? Yes. Yes. I love you. <laughs> forty-four, two and three. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You drove out the pagan nation by your power, and gave all the land to all ancestors who crushed their enemies, and set up and our ancestors free. They did not conquer the land with their sword. Wow. It was not their own strong hands that gave them victory. Amen. You hear what I told you? Yes. It was your right hand and strong hand and the binding light from your face that helped them for you love them. Two and three, right? Yes. Okay. So I read four. Two and three. They did not conquer the land with their sword. Yeah, that's the last. Two and three. Yes. Everything Hallelujah. I told you. I said you have been struggling like that. Your life yes. is like that. And that I am praying 
that the history that has repeated in your life should not come back in the life of your children. Did you hear when I said that? Yes, I received. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. You know, in my siblings, no one is married. We have five siblings. All my three brothers, no wife, no kids. My sister and me with the boys. Uh, she's mentally sick. My brother is brain damaged. The other brother is killed. The oldest is uh, very angry with life. And I pray for them. I'm praying and praying and praying for myself and my kids too. Now you see the yeah. Lord telling you about all your generation. Yes. In 44, 2 and 3. He didn't just speak about you. He went ahead and spoke about them. Even before you start saying it, he has yes. already located them. Yes. It pays wow. to save Jesus. Mm. Jesus wow. is real and he's still speaking. Yes. I tell yes. people, Jesus is still speaking. Amen. Jesus Amen. Speaking. Right now. He's still right doing now. something. Even right now, um, he just spoke. Right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Woo. Okay. That's okay. So you're going to put the name of Christian at this other yes. side. And you're going to put the name of the girl in the other chapter. And you're going to close it. And I'm going to be praying. And I'm going to bless the water. As soon as you drink, you are going to be ill in your body instantly. Amen. I said today, Amen. before I leave the broadcast, that you will Amen. testify Amen. that you Hallelujah. are ill. That you do not feel those pain again because that is what the Lord has shown to me. I'm not saying tomorrow. I said, before I leave this broadcast, before I finish Amen. the broadcast to go away, that <laughs> you will be ill of every pain, whatever is going on right now in your body, that you cannot move, you cannot do things. I said, you are going to be ill of it today Amen. before I leave Amen. the broadcast. Amen. So pay attention to how you feel in your body right now very well. So that by the oh, time yeah. you drink of the water, Mm -hmm. then you will know that there is power mighty mm. Amen. in the blood. Amen. There Amen. is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the power, walking power, there is power mighty in the blood, power in the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood, blood of Jesus, there is wonderful working power. In the blood of Jesus Christ, there is healing mighty power. In the power to heal you right now, there is power mighty. In the blood, blood of Jesus. There is power mighty in the blood, in the blood. There is power mighty, healing power of Jesus in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Can you open the water for me? Thank open you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is power, wonder-walking power in the blood of Jesus to heal the sick, to raise the dead, and to strangle the snakes and scorpions that nothing shall by any means hurt us. Father, I speak the book of Psalm, chapter 41. 
which you have given. Chapter 40, verses 17, which you have given to your daughter this morning. And the book of Psalm, chapter 44, verses 2 and 3, which you have given to her. Father, you say that there shall be no more delay. You said you have thought. You said you have kept. You said you are the helper. You say you are the savior. Father, you cannot help a man and the man goes down. Father, right now I hand over your daughter into your able hand. Every pain in our body, Lord. Every struggles of the children. Every breakthrough that she's believing you for. Every miracle that she has been waiting on. Everything that she keeps calling on you. Every time that she keeps worrying. She does not know what to turn to. She does not know who to turn to. She does not know where to go from here. But Lord, she waited. I remember very well yesterday night that I said, I have to do this broadcast before I leave for my trip. I didn't know that there was somebody that you were waiting to talk so strong. Father, I thank you because I see what you have done in the realms of the spirit. I thank you for the healing that you have brought upon your daughter. I thank you for the breakthrough that I have seen in the realms of the spirit. I thank you for this miracle call that she has received and she is rejoicing. I thank you for this call that she has received and she's calling people and telling them about the breakthrough. Father, I glorify your name because I see that you have done it. Now I consecrate the water in her hand to become the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that speaketh better things than the blood of human. The blood of Jesus that restores. The blood of Jesus that cleanses. The blood of Jesus that purifies us. Right now, as I speak into the blood, let the blood mm -hmm. cleanse you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let the blood take possession over you right now. I release the flaming fire of the Holy Ghost into the blood. The Bible speaking says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Every sickness that is in your body, every ill health that you've been going through, every pain from your, from your muscles to your blood to your cells, I hereby mm. command them to die instantly for the Lord. Every single pain, afflictions from the pit of enemy, I command them out of your body in the name of Jesus. I command them out of your body in the name of Jesus. I command them out of your body in the name of Jesus. From today henceforth, affliction will never arise the second time. I bless you in the name of God the Father. I uplift your children in the name of God the Son. And I bring forth restoration upon you in the name of God the Holy Spirit. From today henceforth, you will never go down in health. You will never go down in your finances. You will never go down in any area of your life. I decree and I declare that your cases hereby settle. And I pray that the Lord should restore Every year that you have lost in your life, the Lord should restore unto you. I leave the peace of the Lord with you. I leave the love of the Lord with you. I leave the joy of the Lord with you. I use you as a point of contact to reach out to your siblings who are in pain, who are in torture, who are in struggles, who are in stagnation, who are in depression, who are worried, who are going through a lot. That as the Lord restores you, the Lord should restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will come back with testimonies. You will um, wonder that, ah, I did not know that this was how well the Lord wanted to bless me. Whatever the Lord has done for you today, no man or woman can take it away. Your, your healing is permanent. Your breakthrough is permanent. Your elevation is permanent. The breakthrough for your children is permanent. I scatter every struggle in their life. I bless them and I mount them on the canopy of God. That no weapon that is fashioned against them will prosper. And every evil tongue that rises against them in judgment shall be condemned forever. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for open doors for you. I pray for breakthrough for you. I pray for permanent solution to every problem you have in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is done. Okay, so you're going to drink the water. And you are not going to allow this water to finish. You are going to keep refilling. Anytime you know that it's almost half. I understand you. I understand you. Fill you. it up. Do Fill not it let it finish. Let mm -hmm. this be the water you drink. 
from mm -hmm. now until you feel that you know what i feel so good in my body give it to your siblings if you can lay your hands on them give it to mm -hmm. your children if you can see them just a little bit mm -hmm. tell them to top up water the same mm -hmm. power that is going to happen Amen. right now in your life is the same Amen. that will happen in their lives remember i said before i leave this broadcast that you will be instantly ill what did i say um, before the podcast is finished i'm healed before, before you leave finish this broadcast, this broadcast you, you will you testify um, you man will say, i feel good in my body and i'm um, not saying you will feel pain i say every pain that you're feeling right now is gonna be mm. gone you are gonna um, feel like it's magic you will check for the pain it will not be there you will search for it you will turn you will want to feel it will not be um, there so pay attention to how you feel right now before you drink um, the name man. of god the father in the name of god the son in the name of god um, the holy spirit fire of the holy ghost power of the holy ghost power of the holy ghost power of the holy ghost um, power of the holy ghost 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 healing of the most high god 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 and so shall it be in jesus mighty name amen go ahead and drink thank you Drink again. Okay. So make sure that you top up, you refill yes, water. I will. Don't rush. I will. You take your time and sit down and allow I the Lord. Amen. And for you. seven. You're going to hear how you feel. Calmness mm. that you have never had before. Joy in your soul. You are going mm. to feel so different. I say before mm. I leave the broadcast, you are going to um, testify. I'm going to um, I'm going to take note of your name. I'm Amen. Going to take Thank note of you. your name. It's Karen Banker Peterson. I want to write it. I want to write it. This one. Thank you. This one. I saw it very well. You know when you see something very well in the realm of the spirit. You're not missing nothing. That's how I saw it. Wow. Your wow. healing was so, so, so clear. Nothing and I it was so clear. So I'm I experienced I that. Name. Thank you. I experienced right. that for 17 years ago. A car accident. I couldn't move. I couldn't even get out of my bed. My ex-husband helped me. And I couldn't move my head like that or like that. I get so much medicine. Don't worry, you're going to see what is going to happen and to you. I said, just relax. Allow, the God, yeah. allow God to take you through the process. Before yeah. I'm done on the uh, broadcast, I say you will testify. Uh, I'm not saying tomorrow. I said today. Before today. I'm done. People take note of the name. Take note of the name. If you Amen. cannot see me, if I am not able to call you again because of network or anything, but I know mm. I will call you as soon as I see your comments. I'll call you back. But if I'm um, not able to call you because of anything, you just listen to me and I will talk um, to you from you, okay? Karen. Thank you so much. I, I, just said, I just said the Holy Spirit said you missed the name. And I looked at it and I saw that I wrote A instead of E. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... You pay attention to your body, and I'll be back with you. Okay? Amen. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank Bye. you. Good to you. Bye. Okay. Father Lord, release my marriage. 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 Okay, so I have some set of people that I'm looking for. I am looking for this, this three sets of people. I'm looking for this three set of people. So you have proposals. Anytime a guy proposes to you, 
or anytime you propose to a woman, she does not accept you, or the guy proposes to you, but he never comes to fulfill anything. Anytime somebody proposes to you, it does not come to pass. And somebody who has never had a proposal before, since you were, you have grown up to this stage that you know you should be married, you have never had a proposal before in your life. Nobody has proposed to you. These are the second set of people I'm looking for. And the third set of people I'm looking for are people, the third set of people I'm looking for are people who are in a relationship, but they don't have money to do their wedding. These are the people that I'm looking for. So if you fall among those sets of people, go ahead and comment and let me pray with you. If you fall among those sets of people, go ahead and comment and let me pray for you. And also, please, um, also, if you haven't shared, please go ahead and share. I am not here to answer. I am not here to answer. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I, I have said something. That, if you know that you are always disappointed, say I'm always disappointed. If you know that you don't have proposal, say no proposal. If you know that you don't have money, say no money. Don't say I'm here. If you say I'm here, you will be here. I will not call you. When I say something, please just listen and follow instruction. Madam, your name and where you're watching me from. Rose, I'm watching from Nigeria. How long have you been following this program? Today is my first time. Today is your first time? Yes. Wow. And you mm -hmm. came today. And you are located today. Amen. The Lord should not God be locating day. people on the first day because they will not come back. <laughs> so which of the category of back. the people that I counted do you fall in? I only have disappointment and promise that fail in place of marriage. When was the last time you paid tight? <laughs> like since last year. I've not paid my tight. You know why I'm asking you? No. Because there is <laughs> you know when somebody is blank. You are saying since last year, you are lying. Maybe three, four years ago. He said since last year. Which last year? There is nothing in front of you. You know when somebody is blank? Blank, blank. Yes. He said last year. <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. It's your first time anyway, so it's okay. My God. You always have disappointment. You know why? Yes. As soon as you say, I always have disappointment, the Lord says, what, who is rebuking the devourer? Do you know what devourer is? When you have problems, when you give to God, when you sow, when you have problems, the Lord will takes it, right? Something is fighting for you. Something is fighting. That's the thing I'm not seeing. That's why you, I say you are blank. Blank. When was the last time you were in that relation? You were you had a relationship. Um, I still in relationship, but I'm what to quit from that relationship. <laughs> you say what? <laughs> I'm still in relationship, and I want to quit. <laughs> Hey, my goodness. You have, you have made my day. You know why? <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? <laughs> All the things I want no. to tell you, you have already said it by yourself. So you have yes. made it to me. So why do you, why do you feel like that? Tell me why you feel like that in your spirit. Why do you feel like that? 
I'll be doing this guy for three years. I'm not a good is coming up from me. So and you I were not here yesterday question. when I was talking. Yesterday I was telling people. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm seeing. Okay. So the next time yeah. you have to find a place of worship or where you believe, no matter how little you earn from what you do, unless you're not doing nothing, you don't have a sense of income. Learn to pay your tithes. It's your first time. You're not my member for you to say, this woman is telling me so that I'll bring money into our ministry. No. What I'm seeing okay. is what I'm telling you. Let God use that one to open your way. Anybody that is in a relationship with a man, one year, two years, three years, the person is not saying anything. Even when the person is saying something, the words are not working with the direction, right? If I have gone into business in three years and that business did not prosper, I will change that business, right? And begin to yeah. sell something else, right? Yeah. If I were in school and in three years I am failing, repeating, repeating, would they not withdraw me from the school? Yes, yes. So why is it that when it comes to our life matter, our destiny, our future, we don't care. We just believe that, okay, it's going to be, it's going to be. It's even worse for people who collect the ring and wear. Engagement ring. It's not engagement ring. It's engagement chain. Because how can you not be ready for marriage? Then you bring a ring, you give a woman. And she wait, she's waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. Probably I must have given two people away because of waiting for you. Probably other people came, but I said, no, let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Eventually, it did not. My dear, three years. Three years. It's a long time for you to start arranging your body. Look at the way things are going. Three years. Ha. Because if you don't begin to act right now, before you know it, it will amount to five years. And what? Age is not on your side. Like I said, when it comes to relationship and marriages, nobody can choose for you. Because you're the one who knows, right? You know, this person is like this, this person is like this. I can take this one. I cannot take this one. I can manage this one. I can live with this one because it's forever. So you need to tell the Lord, Father, if this person that I have right now in my life is the one for me. Show me. From now till this. Show me. From now till now. Show me. If God does not lie. He would show you. Do you have a Bible? Uh, my Bible is not Yamato. Okay. You have water with you? I can get the sachet water. Kate, let me bless for you. Wonder, I beg, give me pure water. Pure water, I beg. Pure water, pure water. Mm. I beg, I want this one. Eh? Okay, sorry, ma. That's okay. I have the water now. Raise it. I want to I want you to raise it for me to touch it. Can you raise it? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I consecrate mm -hmm. this water to become the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus mm -hmm. that speaketh better things than the blood of men. The blood of Jesus mm. that spoke better than the blood of Abel. Father, I pray for a mm. sense of direction for your daughter. You said that mm. they shall mm. be known single after this program. Father, three mm. years is a long time for one to know what he or she is doing in her life. Mm. Right now, Lord, as I leave your blood in this one, open mm. our spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. Revive her from the inside out. 
everything that is a lying promise and fell to come in her life. Father, as she showers the blood, get a destiny change in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who forgot and left her shall come back. Father, let the glory which you created this one to be spring out and let her be gloriously settled to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. Father, do it for this one that she will testify and know that truly. Father, I pray that you will do this for her as a gift of a first time. Today is her first time in Evan Chapel. Father, release her marriage. Father, release our 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 marriage. Every power, every principality, every darkness, any man or woman that is sitting on your marriage, that say you will never marry, that say you will stay in shame, that say marriage can never come your way. Today, I destroy every covenant of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I crown you Amen. with a wedding gown Amen. and you will be gloriously married Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. Amen. You are going to keep the water. When you go, use it and take a shower. Pour it in a bucket. Put other water. And tell the Lord, Father, anybody that said Anybody that is sitting, anybody that is responsible, anybody that is the reason, today I am glad that I went in your presence when you called for people who were single and you say you will release my marriage. Father, I release my marriage from heaven. I receive my marriage from heaven. And I know that nobody can take the marriage which you gave me in your premises. Anything that is in me that is not allowing people to stand. Every spirit of disappointment has I shower your blood and I am a new creature. Therefore, all things have passed away and everything has become new. Grant me, grant me with a garment of praise, a garment of honor, a garment of worship, a garment of beauty, and a garment of celebration that my story will change. And I promise you, Lord, that I will come back to give a testimony. Did you hear what I said you should pray? Do you understand? Do you understand what I say you should pray? Hello? My network has gone bad. Can you hear me? Just go back. I don't even know her name. Okay. What you're going to do is for you to go. The devil is a bastard. He has lost that one. At least I finished the prayer before the network went up. You need to go back to the video to go and watch the video so that you can understand. You need to go back to watch the video so that you can understand. And for the people who were typing comments, when I say if you're among the category of people that I mentioned, when you type a comment, you need to keep typing. You need to keep typing until I locate you. You don't just type once and you stop. You must continue to type it until I call you. You must continue to type it until I call you. You must continue to type it until I call you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. You're if you're messaging me in my inbox, you're wasting your time. Anytime that you see me live, do not even send me a message. God bless you. Which of the category of people do you fall in? Your name and where you're watching from? My name is Sidania Brooks. I'm from St. Martin, the Caribbean. How long have you been um, watching? Um, from two days now. Two days now? Yes. You're driving? Yes, I'm trying to park. <laughs> That's okay. I can call you back. No. Okay. I...
I'm good. Okay. You don't have water. You don't have Bible. So what am I going to do with you? Oh, that is That's so what I true. Said. I'm going to call you back. Okay. Because you don't okay. have a Bible. You don't have water. I need to pray for you. No. Father, in the mighty name of you, what did you say? You wanted to say something before I cut you. Um, in 10 minutes, I'll be home. <laughs> Please, please call me back. <laughs> I can just pray for you if that's what if you if that's what sure. You yeah, but right. I I want you to I want you to to um prophesy. So <laughs> I really I, I really I. <laughs> do you know the theme of this message? Yes, release my marriage. And I said I'm praying for three categories of people. Right? Yes. Which of the categories do you fall? Release my marriage. You know why I'm asking you? Why? Because tomorrow there are people that are on this program. By the time they leave and something happens to them, they will not realize that it was God. They will say, oh, it's okay after all. You know, even if I didn't go, it would have still happened. Okay, so in your own case now, do you have somebody already standing or you don't have anybody at all? I have someone, a possibility, but I'm not 100% sure. And I also have feelings for my ex, so um, I'm between two minds. Okay. So I'm just going to make it very easy for you. I'm just going to make it very easy and simple for you. If I have this, I have this. And you want to give me something. Can I take it? I have this in my hand, right? And I'm uh -huh. holding this. I have this and I'm holding it. If you want to give me something now, can I take it with this, my hands like that? No. I cannot, right? So no. it's either I'm going to drop this yes. and take what you want to give me. Yes. Or I'm going to drop this and take what you want to give me. Do you understand right. or you don't understand? Yes. Do you understand or you don't understand? If you don't understand, say you don't understand. If you understand, I leave it there. Okay. I don't understand. So you could explain me better. Okay. So you cannot be, you cannot have this and have this and then you pray for something else mm -hmm. to come. Okay? So before you start asking me, can you give me water? You need to make sure that your hand is free so that when the water comes, you receive it from me. Right. I'm not going to bring water and be standing whilst you are carrying something. Me too, I have something to give you the water and go and do. I need to give it to you and go do what I want to do. Have you ever heard of a word that says robbing Peter to pay Paul? Yes. Do you see that in your life? Mm. You have this. You, you're thinking of this. If you do not move away from your past, you can never appreciate your presence. Do you understand? That's true. If you yes. don't understand, let me say it out because you're behaving as if you don't know what is going on with your life. And I don't want you to take other people's prophecy, but since you are doing like that, I'm going to open it. Go and get rid of your past so that your presence can come. This is it in simple. Amen. Okay? You cannot be with me and you are thinking of my sister. If you're thinking of my sister, you can never appreciate me. Amen. You will keep comparing me to my sister. That's true. So stop robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay? If you want to be there, go back. If you want to be here, stay here. This is how you move forward. Amen. This is how you move forward. You cannot save two masters at the same time. It is either you save God or you save the devil. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so if you want this, that's true. If you don't want it, let go and find something else. 
for yes. this being here and thing. You are in, you I am in Canada. I cannot move on with the life in Canada. I keep thinking about the food in Africa. Meanwhile, I can find those food in Canada to buy. But I keep thinking about the food I was eating in Africa. Am I okay? No. I don't know the next time I'm going to be in Africa, but I keep thinking about the food we were eating in Africa. Instead of adjusting to the food in Canada and start adapting, I keep thinking about the food back in Nigeria. That is That's what true. you're doing in your life. If you don't know, tell me you don't know. <laughs> That's true. I agree with you. I keep, trying to, I keep trying to dodge it, but it's like you're not getting I keep trying to put it, but it's like you're not getting. That's true. So let me just say it out so that you understand <laughs> and you know. I understand. Clearly now. If you don't put your height down, you will miss it. And I don't want you to miss it. Amen. Because it is not like a lot is coming. Hold on to what you have. And work That's, on true. It. That's true. That's true. Because Jesus. I don't want you to miss it. If you miss it, if you miss it, you will remember me. Hold on <laughs> to what you have. Work on it. Amen. <laughs> it. Amen. Hold on to it. Work on it. Nobody Amen. buys a flower and it blossoms the same day and it bears fruit the same day and it... No. We groom the flower. We water it. We water it. And then before we know it, it becomes a beautiful flower that everybody looks at it and say, wow. Where did you wow. buy this flower from? Can I have a little thing from it so that I can also plant? And then you begin to it's look true. for the tiny one so that you can pull and give to other people. It's true. Hold on to what you have. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Work on it. Thank you. Do you understand? Yes. You should be telling the Lord, Father, release my finances. Yes. The heart. Yes. Let the mission be specific. Because right now, it is not specific. You know that you can stay with me. And I'm cooking. But if I do not tell you, dish the food and eat, or there is food in the fridge, you cannot take it, right? I need to tell you, you come to visit me and I tell you there is food in the fridge you can eat or I make mm -hmm. something. You can go and dish for yourself. But if you're staying with me and I'm not saying anything, I keep saying there is no food, there is no food, there is no food. You're not going to ask me because you already heard me when I said there is no food. So tell the Lord that let the mission be specific. Amen. One thing is being in a relationship. Another thing is the person making his intention known. Hmm? I can be with you. It's true. But I need to make my intention known. It's true. The problem we have as women is a man might be caring to us. A man might love us to date us. And we think that it is going to resolve into marriage. And we think that it is not going to resolve into marriage. Like, you know, we just keep date, we just keep um like, you know, when you are in a relationship and you are of a marriageable age, you are expectant, right? Yes. Yes. You're expectant. Like, you just yes. hope that one day this person is going <clears> to <throat> say, ah, can we and all of that. So you keep expecting, but it doesn't come. So it's you got to pray and tell the Lord that let the vision be specific. Do you understand? Yes. Let it be specific. If I know a direction where I'm going. When I arrive there, I know. I cannot board a flight that I'm going to Jamaica and they stop in US and I come down. No. Because I know that I have not arrived. Right. But if I don't know where I'm going, as soon as the flight ends, I will not even check my ticket. I come down. Let the vision be specific. Amen. I am going to be with you. I am going to marry you. I am going to spend the rest of my life with you. Then we are walking into a direct goal or a direct mm -hmm. vision. Do you understand me at all? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The word is enough for the wise. But if you don't, you can still ask me questions. I'm here for you. 
<clears throat> okay. Um, is that person the person for me? You have watched this broadcast before. Today is not your first day, right? No. You can go back no. to the. You can go back to yesterday's video or the previous one. They, I cannot choose for you. That is why I say, pick what you have now. Work on it. Work on it. If you're yes. wise, if you're the one in this relationship, you understand. I was yes. making a teaching the other day, two days ago. Go back to the video. All the teaching from Father Law release my marriage. Go back to them. Watch all of them. By the time you're done, you will get the answer to the question you're asking me. <laughs> Why? Because the Lord has stopped choosing. Let me tell you the truth. The Lord has stopped choosing marriage for people. Amen. You know why? Because Adams blamed him for Eve. When Adams ate of the apple that Eve brought, and the Lord came and said, Adams, Adams, he said, I am naked. He said, how do you know that you're naked? He said, because I ate of the fruit that you said. Why? He said, is it not the woman that you gave to me? He blamed God. And since then, when you find, the Bible says, either find it, find it a wife, find it a good thing and obtain a yes. favor from the Lord. Amen. Amen. The gift of God make it rich and added no sorrow. So when you are found and all these things are present, then you are right. But if you're still confused, <laughs> go and plant the man. You know what planting is? <laughs> you know what yes. planting is? Yes. And sow a seed. Leave it for God. Amen. Because you cannot decide. When you sow a seed, if it is a good seed, it will germinate. If it is a bad one, it will die. Yes. It's true. On its own, it will just go. You will stop. But if you want to decide, you might make mistakes. If you want to choose, you might be deceived. Let the Lord choose for you. Because you're the one who is going to live with the person. You're, I'm, I'm not going to be there tomorrow when you are going to leave. I'm not yes. going to be there tomorrow when you'll be walking down. And I'm not going to be there tomorrow when you'll be fighting. So you know what you want in life. You want, you know, when you're praying, you know the kind of person you're looking for. Some people have the mind that, oh, I'm looking for this kind of a guy. I'm looking for this kind of a lady. I'm looking for this type. I'm looking for this type. After they have waited for their fantasies, it didn't happen. You need to change the prayer points. You need to change the prayer points and begin to pray. Ah, Father Lord, let your will be done, not my will. Because it's like this, my will is delaying. You know? Just give me the bone of my bone. That man after my heart, that woman after my heart, Lord, release that person. And yeah. sometimes the gift of God comes. It's not what we want. But God knows what will be good yes. for us. It's God knows true. you will be happy. God knows yes. you will have peace. But we want what? Looks. This, that. We want the physical things. We want eye catching. We want this. We want that. And you go in, you don't have peace. You go in, you don't have joy. You go in, you cannot have a child. They kick you out. But the gift of God, when it comes, it stands, fights with you, abide with you. You will see a woman neglect a family for a man. You will see a man neglect all the relatives for a woman. Why? Because they were destined to be. And nobody can change it. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to leave you and pray for other people. I knew that you were going to ask those questions. That's why I said, that's why I didn't, I didn't want to let you go. That's why I say, if you want me to pray for you, I can pray for you. Yes, you could pray for me still. <laughs> but you pray said, for me, please. You are the one who made me to prophesy. You said, I want you to prophesy. <laughs> you said it. I said, I can pray for you. You said, yes. And I, I just wanted to prophesy. So that's how your file started opening. Because you wanted prophecy. That's why your okay. file opened. If you have said pray for me, I would have just prayed. Okay, it is well. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for a day like this. I give you the glory. I give you the honor for who you are. Father, everything that you have showed to me concerning your daughter. Father, reveal it to her. Even in her sleep. Even in Amen. her thoughts. Even Amen. in her heart. Father, you Amen. are the God that whispers. You are the Amen. God that leads. You are the God that reveals. 
Father, in any which way you want to show it to her. Show it to her. Father, everything that is under your control right now, I release marriage unto her in the name of God the Father. The of I Jesus. release marriage unto her in the name of God the Son. And I release Jesus. marriage unto her in the name of God the Holy Spirit. There yes. shall be no single. Anything that was sitting on your marriage has yes. the Lord leave it. You shall in be gloriously celebrated. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Thank Amen. Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank Take you. Care of yourself. Thank no you. Problem. Thank God. Bye. Bye. Amen. Okay. Yay. God bless everyone that is engaging the broadcast. I pray for you on this broadcast for as many that are single that the law will restore. The law will restore your marriages in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that need marriage restoration, may the Lord restore your marriage. For those that need marriage blessing, may the Lord bless your marriages. For those that need upliftment in their homes, may the Lord uplift your homes in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be destroyed forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Good Lord. God bless everyone. 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 I decree and I declare. That your marriages are here by release. I'm just calling people, but they are not picking up. If I call you and you do not pick up, I will not call you again. If I call once and you do not pick up, I will not call you again. Madu, that's the second time I'm calling you. If that call does not go through, Madu, I will not call you again. I will bless your oil from here. Okay. God bless us. God bless us. God bless us. God bless us. I release your marriages unto you in the name of God the Father. Okay. Madu, I bless your oil in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. At this last day that you are finished, on this last day that you are finished your, your deliverance, I bless your oil in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I bless your oil in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. As you will use it, let the glory of the Lord be shown upon you. Let the power of deliverance restore everything back unto you in the name of Jesus. Madu, let the power of the Holy Ghost restore everything unto you. Lulu, I bless you on this last day of your deliverance. And I bless your oil in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. As I have blessed your oil, I consecrate it to become the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Lulu, as you use your anointing to apply every good thing in your life shall come forth speedily whatever was lacking the stagnation whatever was not working let the law restore i release all unto you in the name of god the father i release all unto you in the name of god the son and i release all unto you in the name of god the holy spirit and so shall it be in jesus mighty name amen um what was the other girl amina I bless your last oil in the name of God the Father. I bless your last oil in the name of God the Son. And I bless your last oil in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Everything that you were waiting on the Lord for in this on your deliverance, as you have finished your deliverance, may every good thing that your heart desires, whatever was not working in your life, may it begin to happen and spring forth. May the joy, the restoration of deliverance, bring everything back to you. In the service of Father Lord, release my marriage. I hereby release your marriage in the name of God the Father. I release your marriage in the name of God the Son. And I release your marriage in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Your finances, everything that you believe the Lord for, whatever your heart desires, may ye be restored unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. For the people that have blessed their oil for them, make sure that you're using that oil to apply on your body. 
make sure you're using that oil to apply on your skin make sure that whatever it is that you're doing you're not missing out keep reading the scriptures that the lord gave you keep reading the scriptures that the lord gave you everything that god said is definitely going to answer everything that god said he would do is definitely going to do all of it in the mighty name of jesus another set of people uh the people that have sent the people that gave me their prayer request i'm already going to be carrying it with me for those people that have not sent their prayer request make sure you send your prayer request to my inbox and i will print it out so that i can use it to pray for you and we can burn it like the lord directed so anybody that's it where is the lady that i prayed for where is that lady that i prayed for i saw her commenting where is she karen I saw her commenting that I should call her back. Or was she not the one? Karen. I saw her. I saw her. So to everybody that I did um to everybody that I did deliverance for, to everybody that I did deliverance for. I have um, I have finished with you. So the people that did not send their last day picture to me, make sure that you send the picture to me. I mean, I told you to send your picture to me yesterday. I'm still waiting for it. Madu, I ask you to send your picture. I'm still waiting for it. Lulu, I ask you to send your picture. I'm still waiting for it. Make sure that you send those pictures to me as requested. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to bless God for everyone. I just want to bless God for everyone. Today is the fifth day of this program. And it's just by the special grace of God that we are having this program. It is God that called for us. So when you come on the program, I want you to be writing, Father Lord, release my marriage. Father Lord, release my marriage. In every comment that you'll be saying, do not allow it to go without Father Lord release my marriage. Because that is the reason why you came. That is the purpose why we are hosting this program. That is what God said. That is the reason we were called. So if you are on the program, you need marriage without blessing. You need God to perfect your marriage. You need God to step into that situation. Just tell the Lord, Father Lord, release my marriage. Anything concerning marriage should be your focus for this week. When we were doing Father Lord release my job, you were not there. Go back to those videos. Go and watch it. Go back to those videos and watch the videos. When you watch the videos, you do the same thing that people were doing on that video. And the Lord will release your job. But in those remaining two days of this program, today is the day five and it's left with two days. Everything you're going to be commenting on this broadcast should be... Father Lord, release my marriage. Father Lord, release my marriage. Father Lord, release my marriage. In the church, they do not call everybody to pray for everybody. But everybody that is in that service, they receive. So for those of you who have made up your mind, for those of you who have centered your belief, your trust on being on camera that they call you. Sometimes even if they call you on camera, you don't even know what they are saying. You don't even know what they are saying. You don't even know. Karen, I see your comments. How do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? How do you feel right now in your body? Karen, I see your comments. How do you feel right now in your body? I'm trying to connect you, but it's not connecting. So just go ahead and, and type. Tell me how you feel in your body. I'm reading the comments. There are people that you bring on camera. They don't even know what is what which is which so it is not when you are brought on camera that the lord touches you it is not when you are brought on camera that you are you are spoken to it is not when you brought on the camera that your problem is solved no whether they bring you on camera and you don't have the faith to receive you will not receive whether they bring you on camera and you don't have the trust for you to take you cannot so please believe that when you go when you come here that god has taught you believe that when you come here believe that when you come here i am i am reading karen's um comments and she says i feel so good prophetess to the glory of god 
Okay, believe that when you are here and God speaks to one person, prophecy for one is prophecy for all. So if you have pain in your body, somebody else that has pain has received. If you had believed and kidding, you have received. If you are here, somebody else received marriage. You, you have also received your marriage. If you are here, somebody took a job. Claim it. So long as the person is where you are, the same angels that did it for that person, they are there. Just believe and take whatever it is that belongs to you. Don't just wait to be brought on camera before you know that today I have received. No. Some people come in camera and they are just looking at the comments. They are just looking at how many people are viewing and that is how they miss their blessing. But you can sit in your house. You can lie on your bed and receive. And somebody on camera did not receive. It's the truth. Being on camera does not mean that you have received. It's not a criteria of receiving. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. For as many that came to this service, for Father, Lord, release my marriage. May the Lord release your marriages. For the many that came for marriage restoration, may the Lord restore your marriage. For those that came for marriage perfection, may the Lord perfect your marriage. For they that came for marriage blessing, may the Lord bless your home. May the Lord bless your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that don't have money to be married, may the Lord release money unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord release money unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord release. I see somebody that is asking God for money so strongly. I see somebody that is asking God for money so strongly. But let me tell you what I am hearing right now. The Lord says you should not mock him. The Lord says go and get a job. The Lord says you cannot scam people and expect him to bless you. The Lord says you cannot steal from people and tell him to bless you. You know yourself. Go and look for a job. Go and look for a job. Stop the business you're doing. Stop the credit business. Stop the Yahoo business. Stop the computer business that you are doing. And you want the Lord to bless you with money so that you can go and be married. Go and get a job. The Lord says I will bless the work of your hand. The Lord says I will furnish what you have. The Lord says I will flourish from what you have. Don't ask the Lord for those kind of money that you're asking the Lord for. You will ask for 20 years, it will not come. Go and get a job and the Lord will bless you from it. You people think when you sometimes you don't even know where you are. Sometimes you don't know who you go to. Sometimes you don't know who you're talking to. You know yourself and you know that I'm talking to you. I don't want to bring you on camera so that you will not feel embarrassed. Go and get a job and the Lord will bless you. Whatever you are doing and expecting money, you are wasting your time. That's not what God wants for you. You cannot rob other people and expect God to bless you with it. You cannot take from people and expect God to bless you with it. Go and get a job. Go and get something doing and the Lord will bless the work of your hand. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Forget about what it gave you. Because when the rock of God comes, it's going to come so strong and mighty. So change your mindset and work for your money. Don't dupe for your money. Don't rob people for your money. Work for your money. Work for it. Work for it. And it will come. And it will be multiplied. Did you hear me? Work for your money. It will be multiplied. There will be an increase. What you're doing and what you're asking the Lord... It is not going to come through that way. You're asking the Lord for money. But you are not making money the right way. It's not going to come. So go and get out to make money the right way. And then it's going to come. The blessings are going to locate us. The blessings are going to locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 There are some things I will not do because I am not those prophets and those pastors. I will not do them. I'll tell you the truth the way it is. If you like, take it. If you don't like, leave it. Go and get a job. 
and the Lord will prosper the work of your hand. I repeat again. Go and get a job, and the Lord will prosper the work of your hand. Know what you're doing. It is well. It is well. Father, in the name of Jesus, every man or woman, every boy or girl that is sitting on your children's marriages, that says they shall not be married, that says unless they die, that your children cannot be married. Father, let them die for your children to be free. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them die for your children to be free. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release the marriages of your children from the front, from the right, from the left, from the back. I call for marriages from the north, from the east, from the south, from the west. Wherever your partner is, may you locate your destiny partner. Wherever the bone of your bone is, wherever the flesh of your flesh is, may you locate them in the name of Jesus. May you locate them in the name of Jesus. May they locate you in the name of Jesus. May they locate you in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more delay. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible speaking says it is not good that man should be alone. Father Lord, you said in your word that two are better than one. Therefore, that was the reason why you created woman for man. Father, let your children be gloriously married and celebrated. 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 I hereby release your marriages in the name of God the Father. I release your marriages in the name of God the Son. And I release your marriages in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I restore your marriages in the name of God the Father. I restore your marriages in the name of God the Son. And I restore your marriages in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I call forth blessings into your marriage. I call forth peace into your marriage. I call forth love into your marriage. Marriage. I call forth togetherness into your marriage. I call forth blessings into your marriage. I call forth open doors into your marriage. I call forth children 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 into your marriage. I call forth open doors into your marriage. I call forth breakthrough into your marriage. I call forth increase into your marriage. I call forth multiplication into your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call forth open doors, opportunities, breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Wherever your breakthroughs were tied to, I call forth into your home. I call it forth into your home. I call it forth into your home. You will not get married and struggle. As you are getting married, so shall your children come. Children shall surround your table. You will not pray for marriage and pray for the fruit of the womb. I open your wombs in the name of God the Father. I open your wombs in the name of God the Son. I open your wombs in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Every block tube Every block fallopian tube, every block tube, every block tube, I command you open, 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 I command you open in the name of Jesus. For those that are believing God for money to be maritally settled, I release open doors right now in your finances. I release open doors right now in your finances. I release open doors right now in your finances. I release open doors right now in your finances. I release open doors right now in your finances. Increase should come upon you. 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 For those who do not even have anybody, may the angels of the Lord, may the angels of the Lord, there is an open heaven right now. May they release your partners. May they release your partners. May they release your partners. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that is here, that is into a wrong relationship, I hereby proclaim it scatter. I hereby pronounce it cancel. I hereby pronounce it scatter. I hereby pronounce it cancel. In the mighty name of Jesus, every wrong relationship, every wrong relationship, every wrong proposal, every wrong engagement, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. 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 You will not marry wrongly. 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 
In the name of Jesus, you will not marry the wrong person. You will not walk into evil. You will not walk into danger. You will not walk into disappointment. You will not walk into promise and fail. In the name of Jesus, I release a fresh marriage. I release a fresh proposal. I release a fresh engagement for as many that want it. Let it be your portion. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Begin to receive for your loved ones. Begin to receive for your siblings. Begin to receive for your sisters. Begin to receive for your brothers. Begin to receive for your daughters. Begin to receive for your sons, your neighbors, your colleagues. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive for my husband, I receive for my sisters, I receive for my brothers, I receive for my friends, I receive for my daughters, I receive for my sons, I receive in heaven chapel, I receive on this broadcast, I receive in the atmosphere, in this commission I receive, there shall be marriages, there shall be influx of marriages, there shall be open doors of marriages, there shall be open wings of marriages, in the mighty name of Jesus, every door that was shut to break through, Breakthroughs are coming forth for marriage to come forth. You shall be gloriously married. 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 You shall be gloriously celebrated. You shall be gloriously celebrated. You shall be gloriously celebrated. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In the service of Father Lord, release my marriage. Today is the day five. I cover your marriages. I cover your request with a J. I cover your request with a E. I cover your request with a S. I cover your request with a U. I cover your request with an S. And that represents five. The blood of Jesus. The name 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 Jesus. Let it release that marriage. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is not under the objection of the Lord. It's not permitted to speak henceforth in your marriages. I cover your marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover your marriages with the precious blood of the Lamb. From today henceforth, they shall be non-single after this program. They shall be non-single. They shall be non-single. I release your marriages. I release your marriages. I release your marriages. And I hereby decree and declare that it is permanent in Jesus' mighty name. And so shall it be. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. God bless us. God bless us. God bless us. God bless us. It was an honor for me to have you. It was an honor for me to have you. We came out very early for a purpose. We came out very early for a purpose. Even as we wait on the Lord for a fast, God bless everyone that fasted. Tomorrow is going to be the day six of this program. Tomorrow is going to be the day six of this program. And the time for the program is as well going to change. The time for the program is also going to change. The time for the program is going to change. There will be no fixed time for this program. After now, there will be no fixed time on this program. Follow the page. Follow the timeline. Follow the group so that you see when the program is going to take place. I will post an hour before the time that the broadcast is going to start at so 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 time. I will post it. So just follow the timeline so that you can see when the broadcast is going to happen. And please endeavor to share the flyers with people. Share it to groups so that people can tune in when we come. Let people know that we are having that program and people are going to tune in as we come. Make sure that you are sharing. Make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. Make sure you are sharing the broadcast. Make sure you are you're not just sitting. Make sure that you are sharing. Do the best you can to share. Do the best you can to share. Do the best of the best you can to share the broadcast. May the Lord bless you. I bless you in the name of God the Father. I bless you in the name of God the Son. And I bless you in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I hereby speak into your week. That this week shall be the best week ever for you. A week of testimony, breakthrough. The Lord shall locate you and meet you at the point of your need. Everything you lay your hands to do shall spring forth speedily. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no more delay. 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 I love you guys with the love of God. I love you guys with the love of God. And my greatest wish above all wish is seven and last. Until I come your way again tomorrow. Remain ever blessed. From me to you is Shalom.